We're back with The Legend of Zelda, Here's the Kingdom, Episode 2. On the last episode, we took care of all the beginning shit. We finally made it to Hyrule Kingdom. I see a giant floating cube, a Thunderdome, demonic castle, and me. Are they guarding him? They're in perfect sync. Bitch. Right in the ass. That's how we do it. Let's try not to get too sidetracked. I want to stick to the main storyline. I don't want to go too crazy with side quests. Linky, you're not a ghost, are you? Do not call me Linky. You can see on our map, wherever that little orange circle is, that's our objective. How do I get through this door? You just go around it. Oh, the way Zelda has been dodging us, Link needs to take the hint. I don't need voice acting in my Zelda game. I have absolutely no idea what is happening right now. And the paraglider! We finally get the paraglider. So now we can do this! Which is more useful than it seemed right at that moment. Oh, I am broke. Okay. All right. I was not given a proper warning for this. What a beautiful game. We don't have to aim for water anymore. We can just perfectly time it. Perfect time. All right, so there's four regional phenomena. We get to pick which one we want to go to. So we got an option. And I'm going to guess which one you guys are going to pick. We got Hebra, Elden, Gerudo, and Lanayru. And I know you picked Elden, so let's go. So that's Elden up there. What the f fuck? Uh, I am so sorry. What the fuck was that? Hands, man. Why does it always have to be hands? Link is lucky he has the Triforce of Courage. If I saw those hands rise up from the ground, this regional phenomena would have had to resolve itself. Ross was talking about the rain effects in Red Dead Redemption 2. Take a look at this. Look how you can actually see the droplets. Okay, sudden weather change. Okay, like this. Come on, man. I'm going through him. When you speed run Breath of the Wild 1, you don't fight many enemies, especially bosses. So, yeah, I'm a little under-practiced. I will defeat you. No! It was at this moment. <sighs> oh my... Finally! Look at all that. That's how you get money right there. I have this weird butt sword. Oh, look at this. You got a little, uh, stable. This horse on the right looks sick. Um, well, that's gonna be in my nightmares tonight. 
No, I'm not doing shit for these guys. Damn, that two shot him. Oh, okay, he got me. Burn, bitch. Unlocking this tower will unlock this entire region of the map. Everything that you can see on the map, you can get to. Really, really awesome. The wait for this game might have been worth it. This is the first time I get to see a Goron in this game. Oh, hmm. I'm running out of ways to heal myself. Oh, careful. Oh. Oh. Nice. Oh, thank God. We did it. This episode is a little bit more embarrassing than the last episode. Yeah, I'm pushing. Yeah, I'm destroying this dude down here. Whoa! What? Okay, I wasn't expecting the continuous flamethrower. I don't think I'm supposed to be doing this at all. What? When its red glow shines upon the land, slain monsters return to flesh. Am I still in the air? Oh. Whew. If you don't know, the Gorons are a classic race from all of the Zelda games. They're about honor and strength, and they usually live in the mountains and they eat rocks. <laughs> I'll do this. Bam. Drop. Oh. Is that... Is that actually what I'm supposed to do? Look at this, bro. Oh, shit. Who is this motherfucker? You all Ooh. talking about marble rock roast, are ya? <laughs> oh no. No, no, no. There's nothing to worry about in my opinion. Now stop flapping your rock chompers and get over here, Goro! <sighs> oh, this is not the direction I wanted this to go. Want? If this is your first time playing a Zelda game, or watching a Zelda game be played. I'm so sorry that this is your first impression of Goron. I was over here saying they're all about what? strength and honor. Meanwhile, I have this dude wearing leopard print fur coats and a luchador mask. Apparently all the Gorons are getting high off of marbled rock roast, turning their eyes red. <laughs> and his voice actor came straight from the English dub of One Piece. And he's got Thing 1 and Thing 2 following his every command. Have I been stumped because I don't have fire resistant gear? It was at this point I realized that I may have tackled the Elden portion of the storyline too early. Because in order to progress, I needed fire resistant armor. But the armor costs a whopping 700 rupees, while I barely managed to scrape together about 250. It's not a big deal because you can progress the story in any order, but it does mean that I'll have to continue with the Gorons at a later time. On the next episode, I'll be taking on the Heber region, and come back here later. Thank you for watching, until next time.